Welcome back to This Old Airplane. I'm your host, John Gertner, and we're going to continue our look at making these Langerons for the French World War I fighter, the uh, Henri HD-1. Uh, last time we showed you how to make the ash Langeron starting with rough lumber, and today we're taking a look at how to do the actual uh, tapering of the Langerons once you get the rough lumber cut. And also we're showing you the steps that we use to steam and bend the ash, uh, the pieces of wood, so that they would conform to the profile of the fuselage. So uh, stay put and learn a little bit about making Langerons. Okay, so after we cut the spruce uh, to the nominal large dimension of the Langerons, we needed to mark off the area where the scarf joint would be. So that's what you see at this end of the Langeron. We've also marked each of the stations uh, on the fuselage, and we've marked the height and width that the Langeron needs to be at that station. And then we've connected these points with a straight line, and that'll be our cut line when it comes time to cutting this on the bandsaw. Now one thing I like to include uh, along any uh, piece like this is a bit of extra material at the end, and you'll see why in the next step. a thin kerf uh, saw blade on this small bandsaw in order to cut our longerons. Um, it removes very little material so we don't waste a lot of spruce this way and it gives you uh, very good control. Now as I mentioned we have that section that's extra at the end. This makes sure I can get the blade started. It's absolutely parallel to the surface before we actually start cutting into the longeron piece itself. So you kind of have a chance to make any slight errors. So the blade is very thin and it allows you to get very close to the edge and do a really good job that requires very little cleanup. Once we finish with uh, cutting with the bandsaw, now we're going to take our block hand plane and plane the Langeron. This removes all the saw marks and also removes uh, the last little bit of material that you need to get it exactly to the right size. You'll see there in the middle of the illustration, there's a mark for the station. And now I'm going to take off the uh, Langeron and uh, check it with my um, micrometers to see, uh, calipers to see how close we are to where we need to be. Also note that we're doing this on the edge of our uh, table saw because I know that the iron base that the table saw has is very flat and firm and won't flex as we do the uh, planing with the hand plane. The other thing you're going to want to do is of course check it with a machinist square to make sure you're not uh, planing in an angle one side or the other. So that's what we're doing right here, checking the squareness of each piece. Your last or other option is to use a power plane. And I only suggest this uh, if you have a lot of material to remove or if you're really familiar with the power plane because it could mess you up pretty quickly. But once you know how to use the tool, it's very handy. So here we have the spruce Langerons all finished. That's station number seven. It's 21 millimeters deep at that point and uh, it hasn't taken us very long to get to this point and get our Landrons uh, nice and neat. The other thing I talked about is our steamer. Now we had to steam the ash portion of the Langeron uh, at the front of the plane to match the curve of the fuselage. So here's our steamer. Uh, it's using a gas uh, grill uh, base and then a big box that's uh, perfectly sealed up except for one end. And There you can see the steam coming out. And in this instance, the Langerons were um, 30 millimeter by 30 millimeter, so it took roughly um, three hours of steaming. And here we've clamped it to our jig. Now the secret about this jig is that you have to make 
an allowance that your bend is greater during the uh, steaming and bending than you want and that's what I call my deflection allowance. The bottom line is your water line, the next line is what we want it to be when the wood relaxes after it's finished steaming. Well thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I want to encourage you all to come to our website www.blueswallowaircraft.com and check out our full length DVDs on aircraft building. You'll learn a great deal from these DVDs on many of the skills that we've shown uh, briefly in our YouTube videos. You'll have an opportunity to watch the video over and over again and learn from us who are building full-size flying aircraft. So, for this old airplane, I'm John Gardner. Good luck on your project.